So I went into a maths lesson, um, wonderful trainee. So the behaviour for learning that I saw was, was absolutely impeccable. And I thought, where can I really support this trainee that I'm going in to do, um, just to just see how great her lesson was. And the, the highest leverage thing that I found was in her phase three modelling, there was a specific part, subject related, that a little missed opportunity uh, was found. So when she was uh, ex explaining about the binomial expansion, just to kind of make sure the children are aware, they add the powers. And then that, that would equate to the number of trials, which was something she didn't do. This one have a success of three, this one. Yes, so I only want this one, okay? I'm gonna plug my values of P and Q only to exactly three success. This is for part A. And I thought, well, it's something that doesn't have to be overtly explained to the class because it wasn't a mistake that she'd made in her teacher model. It's just something she could have added in, in addition to what she'd already done. 0.4. There's gonna be two decimal places. 0.42. 0 0.42 to two decimal places. And if I ask the first one, please get the first one down. <laughs> so then when she'd um, asked them to just get on with the work, I then went up to her and I explained to her, just, just put this in, you know, because it, it, it will allow them to check back and make sure they've got the correct answer. And then she was like, yeah, miss, thank you. And then, um, then she addressed it with the class, checked that they understood. And then it's a great way to just make sure that students aren't making those actual mathematical errors. And in this situation, it didn't have to be an overt um, live coaching where I stopped the entire class and I address it. It was just something that was um, quite quiet with me and miss. Two, one, and... Slide, everyone should be back and slide. Okay, before we go on to part B, right, what number should be here for Q as a power? What number? Miss. Yeah.